In this video, we are going to continue with the general term of an AP. You will find this on page 46 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Finding A and D in an arithmetic progression. The 8th term of an arithmetic progression is negative 8 and the 16th term is negative 32. Find the common difference and the first term. So, form two equations and two unknowns and solve them simultaneously. Okay, so because we want to find A and D. So if you, sub, you rewrite the formula and you start substituting that information in negative 8, you sit with an two variables, A and D, the same, A and D. So you have to form two equations. So with that negative 32 and the 16th term, you form the second. And then you just solve them simultaneously. And then find the common difference in the first term. So there's the common difference, there's the first term. And then find the first three terms of the sequence. So this is 13, and then basically you're just going to uh, take that common difference, what is the negative, and you subtract 3 every time. There's 2 times negative 3, otherwise you must use this answer and again subtract 3. And that's how you do it. Not very difficult. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number 1. The 19th term of an AP, so I know it's an AP, and I know that the 19th term is 20.8, and the 4th term is 17.8. Okay, so basically, and don't forget my formula, Tn equals A plus bracket n minus 1 d. So if I'm substituting it, I'm going to get a, I want to, yeah, I can use the yellow, a, okay, let's just substitute it already. Uh, I don't have a. Plus, and now n minus 1, I know it's the 19 term, okay, I want to just put the d in front. So it's 19 minus 1, uh, and that's equal to 20.8. And then the same year, if I just move this a little bit, um, I think I just want to draw a line there that the two don't go into each other. So again, I'm going to say A. D and now it's 4 minus 1 and then it's 17.8 so it's a plus and this is 18 D and that's 20.8 okay and then I'm just going to do this one so this is a plus and this will just be 3 D and that's 17.8 Okay, so this will be, say, equation 1, and this is equation 2. just want to make this line. So, I say, say, I think it's always better to do this one. So, subtract, let's rather say, solve um, equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. So basically, I'm just going to first write this one. And then this one, I subtract this one. Can you see why? Because as soon as I subtract this one, then this is going to become neg <coughs> negative. This is negative and this is negative. So when I draw this line, I'm going to get 18 minus 3, that is going to give me 15D. Let's just get my pen correct. And that is going to give me 3. So I'm just going to divide by 15, divide by 15. So therefore, the value of D will be 0 0.2. 
because 3 can go in 1, it go in 5. 1 over 5 is 0 0.2. And now I just substitute, let's just move this. And I substitute it in, say, equation 1. It's fine. Now, I think the base, and just sorry that I'm correcting myself, because I'm, look, this is easier. It's just smaller numbers. Okay. It's always better to take an easier route. So, in this case, it's going to be A. Okay, let's just change the color again. A plus... 3, 0 0.2 equals 17.8. So A plus 0 0.6 is 17.8. And that is 17.8 minus 0 0.6. And the value of A will be 17.2. Okay, let's just go back to the question to read it. Find the common difference at the first term. So this was definitely A. And then find the first three terms of the sequence. So let's go for B. So the first term will be 17.2. And now I'm just every time going to add that 0 0.2. So this will be 17.4. And the third term will be 17.6. And you don't have to, they actually don't ask the sequence. Let's just go back to the question. Um, find the first three terms of the sequence. Okay, that's the first three terms. So it's not necessary to put the three dots because it's not the sequence, it's just the first. If they say find the sequence, then you can make a comma and make the three dots. Don't think they will penalize you if you do it like that. 